Welcome aboard the Read Me a Story Dad podcast, where dreams take flight, laughter reigns supreme, and there's magic in every page. Let's dive into today's wonderful tale together, starting right now. Welcome to Read Me a Story Dad, where there's a father's love in every page. My name is Brent, and today we'll be reading The Little Engine That Could, classic by Walty Piper, Platt and Monk Publishers, 1930. Chug, 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 puff, 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 ding, dong, ding, dong. Little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. For she had a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toys, animals, toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes, and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbled heads, the funniest little toy clown you ever saw, and there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, pictures, puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls could want. But that was not all. Some cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red checked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfasts, Fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops and lollipops for after meal treats. These little trains were carrying all the wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily, then all of a sudden she stopped with a jerk. She simply could go, could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What are all the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped off the, out of the train. Let's ask him to help us. So all the doys and to dolls and toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken and the boys and girls on the other side of the mountains won't have any toys to play with or good feed, food to eat unless you help. But the shiny new engine snorted, I pull you. I am a passenger engine. I have carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out the big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you? Indeed not. And off he steamed to the roundhouse where the engines live when they're not busy. How sad the little train and all the do dolls and toys felt. Then a little clown called out, The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here is another engine coming along. Coming a great big strong one. Let us ask help. Let's, let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and a big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down, and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big, strong engine bellowed, I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you, the freight engine pulled off. Indignant, indignant, indignantly to the roundhouse. Little train and all the dolls and toys were sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired. But our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag, and the dingy, rusty, old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountains? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side wouldn't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I'm so tired. I must rest, my weary wills. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled to the roundhouse chugging. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then, indeed, a little train was very sad, and the dolls and the toys were ready to cry. 
A little clown, crown, a little clown called out. Here is another engine coming. A little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came, chug, chugging merrily along. When she saw the toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down. The good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help. Sorry, please help us, little blue engine. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only to switch trains in the yard. I've never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said the dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food to eat unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged, and slowly, slowly, slowly they started off. The town toy clown jumped aboard, and all the dolls and the other toys began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug went the little blue engine. I think I can, 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 I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster and faster the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down the valley, down in the valley lay the city. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. The little blue engine smiled and seemed to, sh- as, seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, 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 I thought I could. I hope you enjoyed The Little Engine That Could by Walty Piper. Remember, you are loved. You are special. You are more than enough.